Alright, I guess I was right. So yeah, I pretty much, um... So I looked at this picture again, and the best solution I could draw was uh, the top of Hebrew Mountain. Well, this area of the mountain. And, what do you know, it's right by that inconveniently located shrine inside the ice. Perfect. And I bet this is gonna be a... Shield Sled game. Yep. Well, this is super fun. Well, this is officially the best shield sled course in the game. Oh, well, thanks for the amber. I don't need it, though. I don't want it. Well, now we're going into this stone forest. Really ominous looking from down here, actually. Playing this peaceful shrine music because there is indeed a shrine here. And in fact, there's another shrine here. Well, that was epic. And I erect from the ice. God told the shrine. Master the ore. Ooh, oh, this looks fun. <laughs> Guided on its way down. Whoa, okay, we, okay, let's just get to the top of this thing. Why not? Taking that bow with me. Yeah, like I want to just this bow. Thank you for rolling off, eh? Oh, guess we need one over here too, eh? Okay, oh, that was kind of an accident. Go back up there again just to get that. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna set Cryonis here. We gotta, we gotta stasis that so we make it across. I imagine I only need one Cryonis, but we can really say for sure. Wait, you know, uh, that's an idea. Okay. I was kind of air walking for a minute there. Crazy idea. We can wait for it to come down here. I legit want to try that. I legit want to try that. I legit did it! <laughs> I totally cheated that puzzle! Oh, no. That's the problem with stasis! It is the most game-breaking ability! But using it! The game put it here, the game wants me to use it! It's like... It's like, as it crosses those platforms, I was supposed to go up here, hit the switch, and roll across the treadmill, then I had to stasis, then I had to stasis, oh my god! Whoa. So I had to stasis that thing, hope Cryonis would make it across, then I quickly get over to this switch and just propel it over, but I kind of skipped that second half, didn't I? <laughs> Oh my god, Nintendo. If you make a sequel to this game, GET RID OF STASIS! It's like... That... Cause stasis is the solution to all the puzzles. It... Cheats half the puzzles in this game. Oh, you need something to hold down a switch? Just use stasis! Don't worry about getting that barrel across the obstacle course! Just stand on the switch yourself, stasis it down, boom! Puzzle solved! What do you guys say about that, Mr. Monk? I'm quite peeved that you cheated, but you got here anyway using your own supernatural ability, so here's your reward, jerk. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Now we gotta find. Hmm. So it's a hole by. Oh, oh, I bet I know where that. Oh, that is. Oh my! The, the flight. The flight range? Yeah, because. Because, you know, targets! It's like, you gotta shoot targets, and where else can you find targets with the flight range? I guess while we're here, we can just talk to Teba, get his information on Revali, you know? Shot a waffle. Sounds like Wadiel. Huh? Eh? I remember the first time visiting here. Okay, this is legit a challenge. I remember the first time visiting here. It was so cold, but 
I knew I could do it. I knew I could survive on that O that I could really survive on that O. They just respawn. Do I, do I... Where is he? Do I gotta talk to him or something? I really love this music too, just so tranquil. Would you mind showing someone how to handle a bow? Tell me about Revolving. <laughs> As you know, us three toe use our wings to fly forward. The wind lifts us up into the glorious sky above, however, we cannot ascend on our own. The Rita tribe used to believe this was an irrevocable truth until Master Volley's feet changed everything. <laughs> he learned to create his own uptrap and crafted a unique skill that allowed him to ascend straight up into the air. I'm sure you can understand the great advantage of being above your foe. As a warrior, I am lacking in that way. However, I swear on the sacred sky above that someday I'll suppress Master Revali. Mm. To that end, I'm determined to master his skill to teach myself Revali's scale. Mm. Well, you gotta be born with airbending, dude. But... Mm. So what's the deal with this? The targets I shot just respawn. <laughs> I wonder. Bye, world. Yeah, that's just a mini game, but wait. A, minute. a challenge of four targets, and and you heard about it in a song. Shooting four targets at once, perhaps. Why does that sound familiar? Oh, okay, that's what I have to do. Well, of course, I've heard Master Volley accomplish something similar. Are you going to attempt the same link? Yes, of course you are. I can see it in your eyes. Warrior, why did I? Yeah, yeah. So it's just four targets at once, huh? So we gotta hit. Okay, so right now those are my four cannon targets. Perfect! And they're going to appear down in the water. That is kind of hilarious. It's like. You never want to go down there otherwise. But again, there's constant up trash, so I guess it's easy to get back up, so... That's just a, that's just a really cool place to put a shrine, though. Four wins. Okay. Yep. Oh. Whoa. Look about a giant spinning building, eh? One wind.
still low. Oh, hello. I just love saving durability like this. Activate those ones. Okay, we gotta. Oh! Oh, clever, clever. Shit. Oh, that's gonna be a bit tricky. What if we could just land on the edge there? That'd be pretty cool. Or even land on the switch, actually. Please, please, please. Ha ha! Ha ha! set up on there. Wait till it lets me out. Hey, what's this button do? Out! I couldn't resist, mates. I couldn't resist. Sweet, now I can go up here. Now we're just missing one. Alright. Um. Okay. Okay, so we're here. Can I just shoot an arrow? Oh my god! Okay, wrong arrows, wrong arrows, wrong arrows, wrong arrows. Ha! <laughs> that was horribly wrong. Okay, just simple arrow physics. Every video game has them. Including escape. Um, how does one go? Okay. okay. Alright. Here we go, Link. Yeah, all those useless shields. Alright, that was a fun shrine. That was a fun shrine. Now, I kind of forget you can actually look at this to see the treasure chest, which I did. So, yeah. Cool. You have collected three emblems. You must go to Divine Beast Spa Meadow. Until then.
Hey, Meadow, gonna kick me off this time? No, you ain't. <laughs> now we are officially buddies. You're the one who approaches this divine beast in the name of the goddess Hylia. I offer this trial. In exchange for Meadow's emblems, you'll be granted the chance to tread through the realm of memories. Remember when we explained this, for instance? Those who lack determination will find this trial unforgiving. Otherwise, you're going to make mincemeat out of this guy. Do not take this place lightly, nor dismiss it as merely a world within your mind. But, if you remember the sky being easy though, then he'll probably be pretty easy. Again. Especially when we have all our superpowers. So, so for this one, all I get is the Rivali's bow. This illusory realm was created from the depths of your memories. I guess I was wearing shoes for this. The enemy you shall face is a product of the fear that dwells within. You must overcome this fear to proceed. Of course, I know you're not really afraid because you have every bit of confidence that you can defeat this guy. You would be right. Cannon. So, yeah, I really don't have anything else. What? Why are they let me keep these two bows? Well, thank you for 100 arrows. That's generous. And, and a feathered edge sword. Okay. Wow, this is actually going a lot better than I thought it would. But, um... Kind of random food to keep. All right, let's do this. Ah, <laughs> still gonna cheat with this power. That's. For I do have a sword, I can just look for it if I want. Ow. Oh, lightning strikes the highest objects, buddy. What do you expect? Having the bow clipped. Neither of these are Rivali's bow. What the hell's up with that? Good at this 
surprisingly good shot at this, honestly. Alright, phase two. I'm pretty sure I can use stasis for this, because we don't really need stasis on any other boss. Ow. That hurt. Doing that kind of makes him just fire off in the distance. That's pretty helpful. Almost at least. And once again, lightning wins the day, because why not? So that attack could have actually done me in, so pretty lucky, honestly. I just realized we didn't even have to fight a Talus, like, like a Frost Talus Titan. are different. Our feet took us to the same destination. I speak t figuratively, of course. I travel by wing rather than by foot. Really? I travel by teleportation. Oh, wandering around here listening to anecdotes about Champion Revali has truly invigorated mm -hmm. me. In fact, it has inspired me to honor him in my own way, separate from my teacher's unfinished song. That's why I felt inclined to roost here, near the Divine Beast Bond Meadow, which Revali himself mastered. Mm. I've written a song to try and capture the essence of Champion Rivali. Recall Meadow's champion of flight Before he fell to his fateful plight Rivali's feet was a wonder to see So the princess made her plea
enough. I must stay in the eye of the whirlwind. Must push myself harder. You know, your highness, it's rude to eavesdrop. My apologies. I went to the village and I was told I could find you here. You have need of me to defeat Calamity Ganon. To slay the beast once and for all. It will be my great pleasure. Thank you, Rivali. If we work together, I'm certain we'll be able to... However! <laughs> the biggest part in helping that <coughs> that little knight with the darkness sealing sword correct well if he loses his confidence after seeing me in action don't come crying to me I still love your volley hmm seems the retour champion was not one to share his feelings so, what do you think of Champion Ravali's song? By writing a song that highlights the hidden feelings of Champion Ravali, I feel closer than ever to my dear teacher. Oh. The end result is not quite clear yet, but I'm beginning to feel a stirring of inspiration about those verses. I truly never imagined you would do so well. Regardless, Ravali's gale should be more efficient than ever. As you are, I guess it's theoretically possible for you to best Ganon. Which I did. This would have been handy during the Quark quest. Alright, I just got one more to find. Lady Mitha, we're coming. <laughs> 